Okay, we are recording. I've been asked to do this video quite a few times and been putting it off for a while. But now that we're um, putting out this tool for free and giving everybody access to it, I thought this is uh, probably the best time to go ahead and make a video around how to use this tool. Um, biggest question that we get asked uh, just about every time that we have a new client meeting is, uh, can, can I make money with ads? And uh, it really comes down to just knowing your numbers uh, and having a good sense of where you can improve as well. And one of the things that this tool will do for us is we will discover what areas we need to focus on for maximum impact. Um, within our ads. So I, I've got some figures here from a relatively new client. We've only been working with them for about two weeks now. And I'm going to go ahead and run through the tool of what we're kind of seeing in their ads account right now, uh, figure out if they uh, or how much money uh, they're making from ads, and then zero in on how we can look for opportunities for improvement. So let's start from the bottom up. Uh, their average CPC right now uh, over the last two week period is running about $9. Now close rate, uh, and I'm gonna give some correct definitions of, of what, what these numbers uh, actually mean. Your close rate it is based upon the form fills or the leads that you get and or the phone calls. How often are you closing the deal? So if we if we brought you 10 phone calls or 10 uh, form fills, at what rate are we closing? And, and for most uh, businesses, there's, there's a difference between a lead form and a phone call. Some businesses are closing more by phone call. Some are closing more by lead form. It just depends on the industry and the vertical that we're in. But we want to take an average of all of our leads and say, you know, how often are we closing it? Uh, th this, um, uh, this is actually a um, flooring installer. Uh, they do more than just installing. It's it's new flooring plus installation. So <clears throat> their close rate is actually pretty high uh, when they get qualified leads. Uh, so that's that's a key component to close rate. Um, it's an indication of how well uh, we uh, the um, the marketing team is doing as far as bringing in qualified traffic that leads to a qualified lead. So they're hitting about 40% close rate. Now conversion rate, that is what we see in the, in the ads account. So that's clicks turning into leads. Uh, and then a lead can then have the opportunity to turn, turn into an, an acquisition, which is your close rate. I hope I'm not making this more confusing than it really ought to be. Uh, but our conversion rate um, within the account is right about 6%, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal um, uh, uh, of a close rate. Uh, now, here's where we really get to the important numbers, the average customer value. And there's a couple of ways that we can look at this. And then we have to decide what is the right way um, to use this figure. So um, for this particular client, they're, they're really not going to see return business over the next year. I mean, it could be multiple years before they get any return business, right? You're not just uh, putting in carpet every couple of months. Uh, or new tile into your kitchen, right? So our average customer value is really a one-off sale for this client, which is around $2,200. Now, let's say that this is a different client, right? This is someone that um, maybe they have a monthly recurring or uh, they get return uh, business every couple of months or twice a year, some of that. So what we want to do is we want to try to decide 
do we want to look at lifetime value? Do we want to look at one year value? You know, what, what is the value of a customer um, if, if it is beyond just uh, one sale so that we can better fine tune uh, the ads? But for this particular client, uh, we really can't uh, depend on any um, return business. So we're just going to use the, the average ticket. Uh, ad spend, they have an ad budget of 5,000, um, which is which is pretty low. I, I think we, we had recommended to this client, when we got into their ads account, did a full audit. Uh, we, we thought that the ideal budget that they really needed uh, for at least the first 90 days was somewhere around 8K. Uh, they weren't comfortable with spending that much and that's perfectly normal and, you know, um, so we started off at 5k per month, uh, but it very, very, uh, very much, uh, looks like we're going to be increasing the budget, uh, after, after at least the first 30 days. <clears throat> so what does this mean? We have an expected number of clicks of 556 and we should realize, or we are realizing, uh, 33 leads. Uh, at a cost per lead of $150. Now that $150, that is what it is costing us to get a phone call or get a lead form. Or in this case also, we're, we're tracking um, online chat. So when the chat turns into someone booking an appointment, that counts as, as, as a lead. Um, so that's 13 leads. Uh, so cost of acquisition that's a lot different so now we're looking at the cost of our close rate whereas uh cost per lead uh is to is in our conversion rate right so the conversion so our cost per acquisition of a client uh, is 375 dollars for an average value of 2,200. So we're absolutely killing it here. We've got um, revenue 29,333, but a gross profit $24,333, which is a row as of almost 600%, 587% return on ad spend. Um, so needless to say, this client is off to a fantastic start um so you know the, the the thought is you know what most people would do is they, they would look at look at these numbers and say well this is fantastic let's not change anything um and that would be that would be a mistake uh there, there is uh, still a great deal of optimizations that we can make within this account uh, we have uh, some targeting, some geo-targeting uh, that we can make optimizations on either with negative or positive bid adjustments, depending on where our conversions are, are coming from. We want to really zero in on the zip codes that are really performing well and then kind of pull back from the zip codes that are, that are not performing so well, as well as um, key keyword insights. Um, so th there's a lot more that we can do within this account if i if i had to uh put a number on i mean i i really think that we can uh get them closer to uh 620 to 640 percent roas uh in the next 30 days uh whether or not that actually comes to fruition is yet to be seen uh, there's no guarantees uh in in this business we can just do the best that we can uh, and uh, and continue to optimize and build on the results that we are seeing. Uh, so I I hope that this video is helpful. I'm going to do another one of uh, another one of these videos for an e-commerce client uh, that we would look at these numbers a little bit differently. Uh, so this is just a brief overview: how to use a revenue projection calculator. Um, and then uh, if you want to take a deeper dive into really dissecting what you can expect from within your ads account and where all of these uh, numbers are going to lead to in the future, 
then uh, just click down below, schedule an appointment on my calendar, and uh, we can talk about doing your ads for you. Thanks for watching.